Research is one of the leading research area. Worldwide, many scientists and researchers are working together to develop innovative and life-changing treatments through stem cell research. So through this video, I am going to share some of the basic information about what is stem cell, its classification, what are the challenges facing in stem cell research, and finally, how the nanotechnology can tackle these challenges. Okay, so let's start. Basically, stem cells can be defined as cells that possesses self-renewal capacity as well as the ability to differentiate into one or more mature cell type. These stem cells are classified into three major groups. One is embryonic stem cell, next is adult stem cell, another one is induced pluripotent stem cells. Embryonic stem cells. Embryonic stem cells uh, which can supply new cells for an embryo and the, as it grows and develop into a baby okay so these kind of uh, cells are pluripotent in nature that means uh, they can uh, change into any cells in the body okay next is adult stem cell adult stem cell can supply new cells as an organism grows and to replace cells that get damaged okay so these cells are multipotent in nature which means they can only change into some cells in the body not any cell okay for example uh, skin or means epithelial stem cell which provide the different types of cells that make up our uh, skin uh, and hair okay so next is induced pluripotent stem cell the induced pluripotent stem cell is one of the pluripotent stem cell that means uh, which can uh, they can uh, develop into any cell type okay so these kind of uh, cells uh, are made in the laboratory uh, so uh, the scientists they, they will take this normal adult cell like a uh, skin or blood cell and reprogramming them to become a uh, become stem cell so this is all about the classification of the stem cell. Next, uh, what are the challenges in the stem cell research? Uh, so uh, the main challenge, major challenges in the stem cell researches uh, research are uh, lack of a rapid, easy, and efficient method for stem cell isolation, and their long time maintenance and differentiation into specific cell lineage and uh, lack of uh, uh, micro environment for stem cell studies in, in in vitro condition and difficulties in the development of novel regenerative therapies for various um, clinical diseases and disorders of animal as well as human and finally uh, difficult to understand the stem cell functions okay so these are the major challenges in the stem cell research so uh, these challenges uh, that can be tackled with uh, the assistance of nanotechnology okay so uh, the first one is stem I, uh, stem cell isolation and sorting okay so uh, the easy rapid and Low cost isolation is very important in the stem cell research. Uh, our uh, traditional methods are not in an effective way to isolate the stem cell. Okay, so this nanoparticle can be used uh, to isolate the stem cell. So one uh, group of researchers, uh, they used magnetic nanoparticle. Uh, which labeled with stem cell uh, were isolated
calculated by magnetic force in very long cost uh, cost fast and easy manner okay so they functionalize the magnetic nano particle with their fluorophore and that can be employed for uh, the stems um, isolation and the uh, sorting of the stem cell okay so this is one of the very good uh, benefit of the nanotechnology in the stem cell research another one is stem cell tracking and imaging so the stem cells can be tracked in vivo with various dyes so the problem associated with this kind of dye is they are not uh, in the efficiency is not good okay so uh, nanoparticle offer a great potential in the area of uh, stem cell tracking and imaging so a group of researchers they developed a nano system uh, that is uh, peptide conjugated condom dots so uh, so they used uh, this nano system in mesenchymal stem cell uh, and labeled the stem cells were tracked to um, study their tissue distribution in nude mice okay so they successfully uh, uh, tracked these mesenchymal stem cells uh, in a uh, mice uh, with this uh, nano system next is uh, molecular detection and biosensor uh, because of the self renewal pathway of stem cells and their differentiation potential uh, is very useful uh, to identify and studying such a molecule and their functions okay so the nanoparticle uh, in the form of carbon nanotubes nano rods nano spheres nano wires can serve as a novel tool for molecular detection in stem cell research okay so there are many reports are uh, there available uh, using this kind of nanoparticle uh, we can detect the uh, stem cell okay next is uh, stem cell microenvironment is a crucial challenge in stem cell micro environment research is to develop an in vitro system that accurately replicate the function of in vivo micro environment so because that's a very uh, crucial challenge okay so the nanotechnology can be utilized to create in vivo like a stem cell micro environment and to determine the mechanism uh, underlying the conversion of an undifferentiated cell into differentiated cell types okay so then uh, this nanoparticle can be applied for controlled release of growth factors and biochemical for more precise understanding of uh, the cell stem cell growth and uh, cell renewal renewal and the differentiation okay so uh, this is also one of the uh, benefit of the nano particle in the stem cell research another one is tissue engineering in tissue engineering the use of nano particle uh, we can enhance the applications of t- tissue engineering in therapeutics okay so the novel nano material uh, which can be constructed in a certain fashion that um, this stem cell can be directed to grow and differentiate so normally for that uh, normally this nano fiber matrix seen that means the extracellular matrices which made with the uh, nano fibers and uh, nano pattern um, of tissue construct may also help uh, in direct differentiation of the stem cell into specific cell lineage okay this is all about the nano particle in tissue engineering and next is uh, stem cell transfection the efficient stem uh, stem cell transfection is the key for achieving the complete uh, potential of the stem cell okay so in traditional methods uh, uh, which are not that much effective uh, nature so that um, the nano particle can be the most promising way for transfection in stem cells okay 
of nanotechnology in stem cell research okay thank you for watching this video if you like this tutorial please share with your contacts